This is my 50th year of touring. And every year my fingers get smaller and smaller. Um, it's been a most incredible journey. I never thought when I started out as a songwriter, writing songs with Bernie for other people that nobody liked. And so we wrote songs that we liked and I recorded them. And then when I recorded them, I had to get a band together and go on the road to promote the record. So it all started by accident. I never set out to be Elton John, big star. I just wanted to be a songwriter. And look what happened. <laughs> I've had the most incredible life, the most sensational memories in that time. Um, God, I've been so lucky and so fortunate and blessed. And there's been one constant thing throughout this whole journey, and a few people out there. Because you bought the 45, the albums, the eight tracks, the awful, awful cassettes, the CDs, the DVDs, the merchandise, but most importantly, you've always bought the tickets to the show. I love writing songs and I love making records. But the most important thing for me and to any musician who loves to be a performer is to play to another human being and get a reaction. In those 50 years, I've had a million years worth of applause. So much to remember. So much to take home with me. And as I go old, remember so many wonderful things. But I want to say something to you people, from this Englishman who came to America in 1970. You've treated me with so much kindness, love, support, loyalty and generosity. I can't thank you enough. I have you in my heart and my soul. And I will never, never forget you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for me. He's been in the band on and off since 1974. 
Um, he's joined us for this last tour. I'm so glad because he adds so much to us visually and musically. In 1979, he and I went around the world, just the two of us, playing in countries we've never played before and breaking down some barriers. And it helped me musically so much to just go out and play with a percussion player. I'm forever grateful for that. Um, what can I say? On percussion, the incredible Ray Cooper! In 1969, my first band consisted of the late great Dean Murray on bass guitar and vocals, and this guy on drums and vocals. So he started the journey and is finishing the journey. I talked earlier about Burning Eye and loyalty and love. Well, you don't get much more loyalty and love than this. Uh, I honestly think he's playing and singing better than ever. He's been the heartbeat and the, the, uh, the engine room of the band for years and years on drums and vocals. Nigel Olsen! I wanted to add another sound to the band and then I asked my record producer if he knew any great young electric guitarists and he said no. But I do know he said a wonderful folk musician who plays acoustic guitar, mandolin and banjo. And he was in a band called Magna Carta and I knew of the band. I listened to the albums and I thought, hmm, this guy can do anything. He was 18 years of age. And I asked him to join the band and he did so on Honky Chateau whereupon he picked an electric guitar up for the very first time, and obviously, as you can hear, he's never looked back. He's my band leader. He gets everything together with me when I'm for me when I'm in England, and these guys live in LA. He does so much to help me out, and uh, he's truly um, one of the great musicians that I've ever played with. Um, from Edinburgh, Scotland, on guitars and vocals, the amazing David Jackson. Two of my favorite people in the audience tonight, Michael and Tomas, this is for you. Say 